Hi beauties and curls, welcome back. Today's video is a really quick brow, my updated brow routine. I did one that was kind of very, very natural. This one is going to be structured because after this video, I am going to do my go-to look. It's my go-to look slash everyday slay, or not my everyday slay. This is what I use, you know, that's what I use whenever I have an event or something like that. Today, we're going to be using the L'Oreal. This is the Brow Stylist Definer. I love this. It is in the shade Dark Brunette. Remember, brows are sisters not twins which means that like i have more difficulty with this brow my right brow than my left you definitely want a spoolie i do have like a pet peeve of brow pencils now having spoolies thank you so much anastasia you are the brow standard okay so we're getting to this video i'm gonna stop talking listen to the voiceover okay so we are starting off with the brows. I'm just actually starting in the middle of my brow and then kind of like naturally finding where the arch should be and where the tail should end. This is usually how I do it, but I'm going to show you a really easy way to get some symmetry and make sure that both brows kind of look the same. Like I said, they're sisters, they're cousins, not sisters. No, they're sisters, not twins. Yeah. So you get messed up with all those connotations and stuff. So now I'm just checking where my brow should start, where the arc should be, and where it should end. That's a really good way. I was just checking that one, but now I'm going to show you on this brow how to actually connect the dots. It's like an invisible stencil. So you see the first dot, the arch dot, and then the tail dot. That's a really good way. And now you just kind of like connect the dots and you can always go back and clean it up. I'm using now upward flickering motions in the beginning of the brow just so you see how it can look natural. You want your brows to look natural. At least I do. I want them to look, um, have that gradient look and that's a great way once you brush the spoolie through. So now I'm just taking the next Conceal and Correct palette. I love this palette for my brows because it's a really stiff consistency and it's very hard. It's like, it's very stiff so it doesn't shift or move. This concealer doesn't. It's not too liquidy. It's actually a very solid one. So I brush it down just so it blends and I don't get that halo effect. Jam into some music and now I'm gonna set my brows. This is from Essence. It's kind of like Gimme Brow. I wanna say it's Make Me Brow. Hmm, sounds alike, right? Now I'm just cleaning up the brows on the top using my Morphe brush. This is an old school brush back in the day. So yeah, that's how I do my brows, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe and I will see you in the next few days in another video. Bye loves.